Friends, today is July 12th, 2023. We are in the great book of Jonah. Jonah is a counter narrative. You know, I often think of it as a children's story uh, that we learned perhaps when we were young. Uh, it's dramatic, it's, it's, it's got some unbelievable aspects for many people. And um, yet underneath is a profound commentary, a counter narrative. And so um, there's a deep wisdom here that that really connects with some of the tendencies that we all have as religious people and jonah is presented as a prototypical uh, person who views himself as a righteous religious type and what are the dangers of that personality type that that, that are explored in the book and so um we're at a point in the story to remind us of how where we've gotten where jonah gets an assignment a great one to reach a whole city nineveh which was the capital of assyria about 400 miles north of jerusalem and he decides to go 3,000 miles west with a bunch of people he doesn't know he's got what we call a reinvention uh sort of strategy going uh, it's it's um, the idea that you can remake yourself if you have new friends in a new location. Uh, you can relocate yourself out of your out of your old life and into a new one. Many people have tried that, uh, but he doesn't get very far because a storm comes. The ship is in danger. Uh, the sailors begin to pray. They invite Jonah into the prayer. Then they decide to take that step further to see if they can discern what, why the punishment is happening. They assume not that God is unjust, but just, and that one of them's done something, and the law, they, they cast lots, and it falls on Jonah. Uh, and then, interestingly, they say this in verse 8. The sailor said to Jonah, Tell us why this calamity has come upon us. What is your occupation? Where you come from? What's your country? And of what people are you? Uh, fascinating reaction on the part of the Mariners when you just take a step back and think about it. Put yourself in their situation. The boat is in peril. It's on, on the verge of breaking up, falling apart. And what do they do in that moment? They stop to get to know Jonah. I mean, they treat Jonah with the deepest level of respect. The lot has fallen on him and he's not denying it. But they take time to personally interview him to understand what's going on in your life. That things have broken down between you and the God that you in, intend to follow. And so um, they don't just throw them overboard like the cargo. They value Jonah more than their cargo, even though their, their livelihoods depend on their cargo. When you're taking a long ship, a trip like this, it's got to be a profitable one, right? Because you're spending months and months going back and forth of your time and your energy and your purpose. And they've, they've, they've chucked over the cargo. Uh, and, and it's Jonah's fault and they must be frustrated with him and yet they value his life enough that rather than getting angry at him for causing the calamity they gently begin to talk about him asking him you know who are you what are you about where are you from what are your people um, it's a spiritual and personal inquiry that they're conducting about his origins nationality his occupation his ethnicity uh, you know, a lot of people would say, let's cut our losses. Let's survive here. If he's the problem, let's chuck him overboard. I mean, he paid his fare. Uh, no one would know. This is often the, why people try to commit murders at sea, ch throw people overboard, because they don't know whether it's an a it's often an accident, so they could portray the murder as an accident. And um, amidst the howling will, uh, uh, wind and the overwhelming waves, they treat Jonah fairly, despite the risks they're incurring in doing so. It's amazing uh, how they, in this moment, are able to balance justice and self-interest and not allow self-interest to overcome justice. Let's pray. Lord, help us not to choose the expedient thing when it's unjust. Reinforce for each of us the ultimate value and the sacredness of human life and the just courses that promote that life. We ask this in your son's great name. Amen.